how to YouTube. Gonna be working on a Nissan today. Gonna show you how to change the rear brake pads. Okay, so as I said, working on a Nissan here. It's a 2018 Altima. Gonna be changing the rear brake pads. Already did the front. We'll have a video on those too. So keep an eye out if you need to do the fronts. It's jacked up, obviously. So after you got your car jacked up, have to take the wheel and tire off uh, I believe these are 21 millimeters I do not know where that is so it's a loose 7 8 for those who don't really care caliper I use a C clamp nice I loosen that a bit too much but uh, you can get a big C clamp like this at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap so there you go <clears throat> all you're gonna do is press on the pad and then on the back of the caliper now push the piston back inside the caliper like so bust this loose put that out of the way make yourself a 14 millimeter you might need your adjustable hammer for leverage and or beating purposes and bust your caliper bolts loose these bottom ones these for some reason adjustable hammer folks These are also your pins, so you want to make sure these don't get dirty. So set those in a nice location. your caliper pull it off put it on your 
whatever arm that is fits nicely holds it okay want to take your pads off and look at them See the one in the back has the little wear thing. One up front does not. Next, you want to pry these little clips out, which were a bugger on the other side. So, yeah. Always helps if you have a pair of pliers, but you know, too lazy to walk back to the shop. And I don't have my Gerber on me today. One clip. Two clips. Okay, so before you put it back together, two things. You want to check your boots. Make sure they're not cracked. Because if they're cracked, water will get in there and you'll, you'll get seized calipers eventually. Part two, where these clips go, take your wire brush and clean them out pretty decently. Junk out of them. All right. My set of pads. I got the Duralast Golds. It comes with hardware. Get get replace your hardware. So the regular Duralasts do not come with hardware. The Duralast Golds are not do. If you notice, they send two. There's eight clips in the hardware bag. You only need four of them. Two for each side. But if you notice. That opening is thicker. You need the one with a smaller opening for these. All right. So make sure you use the right clip. And just press them into place. Top and bottom. Like so. Easy peasy. New pads. Remember, they had some probably not good for them, so try not to drop them. But uh, the one with the clip goes in the back. Get yourself some Permatex Brick Ports Lubricant. Some stringy shit. Lubricate your ears where they will go into the clips. Like so. Try not to get it on the pad part itself. And if you've got greasy oily hands, you might not you might want to wash them. Use gloves. But what I my hands are fine. It's just brake dust. Okay. Clip on the back slide it in the holes on the on the outside same deal top and bottom it in the clip take your caliper watch your boots but take your caliper what I do is I hug the first boot curve it in 
press the second boot. All right. We're good. I try to stick the pin that came out in the same hole it came out of. So, your pin. If you drop it, clean it. Take a little bit of your lubricant. Put it on. Stick it in the hole. And try to line it up on the boot. The first one's always the hardest. Right there. The other one kind of lines itself up a little better once you get the first one in. Second one. This one's pretty dry, so we'll give her an extra touch more. Probably a little too much, but whatever. And that's why you wear work clothes. In the bottom hole, light work slides right in. Start the threads by hand, of course, so you don't cross thread anything. Take your 14 millimeter inch, tighten them. There's a little rib at the bottom of the threads, which I should have showed you, but you want to make sure that your boot slides over those, that little rib. That's what makes the seal. Here goes everything off the trunk of the car. Alright. Those look good. Here it goes. Now it's on. And the bottom one's on out of the way. I'm gonna go have my assistant press the brake pedal. I do this for a number of reasons. Uh, A, when you press the caliper piston back in, the flue goes to the master cylinder, so you could overflow the master. Uh, Doing all your brakes without compressing it. All right. Also, you want to make sure that the caliper moves and returns like it's supposed to, which it does, because it slides on the pins. And that it's very, it's very. It, the fronts are more noticeable than the rears. These are so small. But I don't think I've ever seen a caliper that small before. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so it moves fine. So now, you got a valve cap missing. We need to get a valve cap. It's not still. I don't know. I think there wasn't there one just on there. I don't know. Anyway, get your tire. Put it on. Like so, find your lug nuts. Attempt with your sausage fingers to thread these on. Start them by hand. Once you start them by hand, you can get a ratchet or a four-way or something and snug them down and then get a torque wrench out. I believe the torque spec for these are 83 foot-pounds.
show you what I do. Some of you might want to look away at this point. I'm not running, I'm not cinching them down. I'm just running them snug. I'll take the, uh, I'll, I'll run them down snug first. do run them down snug freaking neighbor grass all over his tires uh run them down snug i take the vehicle off the jack stands and off the jack get it down on the ground torque them i'll do all four wheels in the, once i didn't do the front yet i didn't do the other side i'll get it off the ground onto the ground torque all the lug nuts to 83 foot pounds take it around the block a couple times come back torque them again you should be good to go but uh, that is how you change the rear brakes on my 2018 Altima. So, thanks for watching. Hope it helped you guys. And as I always say, stay crazy and have a good one, people.